What's up, guys? This is Femship. Slash some gamers. Just depends on where you know me from. Uh, I'm the maintainer of the single player controller support mod, as well as the developer for the multiplayer controller support ones, the scaling and non scaling one. And I've had some questions come up recently about how to add keybinds to the single player controller support mod. And I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to do this because it's not the same as doing it for without the controller support mod. There, it's very similar, but there are some changes that you need to know about because if you do it wrong, the game, you won't be able to use controls, which can be a big problem if you actually want to play the game. So this guide will work for all three of these mods, but I'm going to edit the single player controller support mod for this instance. So what we're going to do is once you have the mod in mod manager, you're going to go to open mods folder and you're going to go to your mod, so single player controller support. Now you can see here there's a folder called Variants. Uh, variants, if you don't know already, uh, if you go to the Mod Utils menu, once you click on one of these mods, you can see Variants, and you can go like, oh, I don't want controller vibration, or I don't want aim assist. You can turn one of these on at a time, but if you click on this, so I click this, it's going to edit some of the Coloset files. And now the one of the Coloset files has changed. In this instance, it's uh, DLC test patch bin right here. And it's, set, it's I think it turned off, yeah, it turned off controller vibration in there. Now what we're gonna wanna do here first is if you've ever applied this, go to uh, the variance menu and hit uh, revert to original version because we're gonna delete this folder. So it's reverted, so now we're back to the stock version. If you have no idea what you're doing here, just go to mod utils and do restore mod. This will restore it to the server state and it'll undo all the changes you've made. Uh, after you've done all that, just delete the variance folder. If you don't have a variance folder right now, it means you've never applied one, which is perfectly fine. That doesn't mean anything's wrong. So what we're gonna do here now is, uh, I'm gonna explain how this works. I'm gonna try to be brief because I could go on for uh, a long time on how this works. Uh, when you wanna modify your keybinds in the original game without this mod, you edit them in coloset.bin, which uh, would be in the base game. Yeah, it's not in this mod, so you don't see it here. But uh, for controller support to work, you need to be able to press the start button at the um, at the main menu, or not the main menu, the title screen where it says press start. Uh, but DLC does not load until uh, after the title screen. So if you, and controller support actually won't work at all if you try to change it with the DLC. Uh, Moonshine tried that and it didn't work. And so he put all of his changes into the base game Cola set, but that doesn't work with a lot of other mods that might modify that, like older ones or mod maker ones. So what I did is I moved them into something called Test Patch, which in Mass Effect 3 is under Bio Game Patches, PC Console. There's this patch 001.sfar. It's in a DLC file format, but it's not actually a DLC, technically. It doesn't load like one. But that's way more technical than you need to know. So what happens is base game cola set loads, the vanilla one that most people know how to edit, and then test patch loads immediately after that before the game window even pops up. So what I did is I moved all of the cola set edits into this file to increase compatibility with other mods, including Mod Maker. So what we're going to want to do is all of our keybind changes are going to go in here. And to edit this file, you have to use. Uh, Tank Master's Cola Set Editing Tool, which, so you, most of the guys probably say how to use Wenchies. I can't stand Wenchies, and I don't know if it works with this. Uh, if you edit it and say it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but it made it really easy to edit this. Just drag and drop it on the Mod Manager and hit Decompile. Close the little window that pops up. And bam, there you go. You're going to want a text editor like Notepad++ or Sublime. Don't try this in Notepad, it's going to be a lot more awful in Notepad. So we're going to open up Bio Input right here. And I'm going to drag it over from my other monitor. So as you can see here, we have a list of keybinds. So in Game Mode Atlas, we have the Xbox Type S, Left X, Console Strafe. And in the comment section, or the, the description of this video, I'm going to have a link to a list of all the valid values you can, or you can have for this list. Um, 
because some of them aren't exactly intuitive if you want to rebind some of the keys or something. So on the left you have the name of the key to press, on the right you have the command that's called uh, a game mode base that's a little different. You have an alias on the left and you have a command on the right. Uh, I'll explain how that works a little bit later. So let's see which one of these has a good example. Flycam. Flycam is the mode where the camera flies around and it's how they did all of their um, like uh, what is it? Trailers and how you take screenshots and stuff. Uh, that's not a big Thing here, but I know Starbuck wanted to have some keybinds for this kind of thing. So, in this instance, we have two different types of values here. We have type four and we have type two. Up here, you also see type three. In this video, consider type three and type two the same thing. Uh, it's more technical to explain than it's worth, or whatever. I'm, my brain's half off. Hope you don't mind. So, type four means subtraction. Uh, this item right here. Escape is in the base game cola said, which I conveniently happen to have right here. So we'll snap this. So on the right is the base game cola said, on the left is single player controller support. So I'm going to look for fly cam because this file is kind of big. So as you see, it says escape shared menu. Escape shared menu. So type 2 adds to the list of key bindings. So you press escape, it shows the menu. This type four subtracts the value right here. If it matches 100% exact, it subtracts that from the list of bindings. So it adds it to the list and then this mod takes that back out. And by doing that, I essentially erase this line from existence. I get rid of the ability for mouse movement X, mouse movement Y, A, W, S, D for moving your, control, your character Spacebar viewing the player and mouse scrolling up viewing the players as well. I get rid of all of that, which is, I believe, all of these. Although I'm not sure where this mouse scroll up down is. Anyways, so essentially what these type 4s up here are doing is completely negating everything that's in the original. And so what you want to do is when you're editing this file, you want to make sure you do not edit these type 4s. Because if you if you're like, well, I want to make the menu button, I don't know, Q. What you're going to do here is now when this game loads, it's going to load the cola set. It's going to, it's going to bind escape to shared menu. But instead of taking out escape equals shared menu, it's now going to try to take out Q is shared menu. But Q equals shared menu doesn't exist yet because we're not adding it, we're subtracting it. So this is still going to be here. So escape will still do the same thing. And so, and then your binding obviously won't work because you're subtracting it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave this as escape that. And what you're going to want to do is maybe instead of start being shared menu, I want it to be Q. I don't know why you'd ever want that, but that can be that. Or better way to do this would be to copy this value and set this to Q. So now both buttons open the shared menu. And type 2 means um, addition to a list. So you're adding to the list of bindings. Um, you might see type 3 like right here. That means add if it's not already in the list. But um, you probably shouldn't be adding the same binding anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And then everything else here is the same. I'll give you a brief. If you already know how to do the rest of this thing, um, I'll just include an annotation right here to skip. Otherwise, if you have no idea how to do key bindings, I'll give you a little bit more of an explanation here. So, um, if you're new to editing key binds, in bio input, you have game mode, uh, not default. Where's base? Base. I'm going to expand this to full screen to make it easier to read. So you have game mode base. This one is special because on the left, you can define a list of aliases that describe the command that's going to be executed on the right. So for example, uh, let's look at console nav assistance or cover turn. When this command is called, it's going to, it's going to execute try cover turn, activate POI, deactivate the POI, or show the area map. Um, it just kind of depends on what context you're in. If you're on like the Citadel 
There's probably not going to be a POI, but there'll be the map. Blah, blah, blah. But co console, nav assist, or cover turn isn't a keybind. Obviously, that's not... That, or sorry, that's not a key on the keyboard, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for it here. And we can see in game mode default, which is where Shepard's just running around. Uh, Xbox type S, left thumbstick, which is the left click. And right thumbstick, which is the right click on the controller. is going to call this command. So what you're going to do is you... In game mode default, you click the left stick, it's going to call cover, excuse me, it's going to call cover nav assistance or cover turn, which is right here. It's going to call this and then it's going to call that list of commands. This is how they let you change your key bindings in the game on PC. Uh, I know it sounds confusing, but it actually results in less code and a heck of a lot of less headache. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to go through here and edit these. And you might notice uh, for controller mods, you will I, I can't say this with 100% certainty, but I don't think you need to edit the ones that are under the um, keyboard specific codes. 409 is, I want to say US QWERTY, but I could be wrong. And I think 40C is French. But I could also be wrong. I don't know how those work. I don't have a non-US keyboard, so I have no way to even test that. So just remember, type 4 is remove. You typically don't want to edit these. Type 2 is add, as well as type 3. So you add keybinds to that. If for some reason you edit the keybind, you add the type 2 or a type 3 and your keybind does not work, there's typically a couple of reasons. One, I did not type for the original value out of cola set, which, hap especially in the multiplayer controller support mod, this isn't the right. This isn't the right thing. Sorry, this is the one. I didn't type for the original value out. Sometimes I made it dual, so you could, especially in the controller or the multiplayer one, you can move with the WASD and turn with the mouse. Still, I didn't remove that. I that was leftover stuff from an attempt to make a duel so you could do both but it ultimately didn't work um, so what you might need to do is you might need to go through here and be like oh well here's something that's using the same key as the one that I want to assign but it's not being typed forward out here so when I add my keybind it's not the first one to, that the game sees and it's not using it so you might need to copy you might need to co just pretty much copy this from game mode GUI. Imagine this is game mode GUI. You would just copy paste exactly what it shows and you just change it to type 4. Now that command V right there is essentially nullified and then I would say oh I want V to do uh, console exit power wheel. I know this is really confusing and in-depth but I'm not really good at explaining things. So that's how you do it. Now, you got all your stuff edited. Cool. Save your file. Close this. Close that one. Um, so now you're like, how do I get a cola set file out of this? Take this XML file that has the same name as the folder and just drag it onto Mod Manager. And it'll give you, what do you want to do with this? Hit compile cola set, not TOK. And you'll have a new file here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy or move this. It doesn't really matter. Up one folder and replace the one that's here. And now your keybind's going to be there. And now you just hit apply and it's going to install that. Or if you have a variant that you want to use, you apply that. This is going to modify. And now you hit apply. So now there's no controller vibration and you have your keybinds. And you hit apply. I know that's pretty complex, but test patch is kind of an onerous beast to have to work with. And so this is the only way I could get controller support to work with other mods nicely. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop me a comment. I know this is probably pretty confusing, but hopefully this clears something up for you. Thanks.